Hi everybody, this is Carrie Mubarak at WooingNature.life and it is time to get this money. All right, the new moon has just passed and right after that I got the word that there would be some new things coming up. There would be new things on the horizon and things were starting to pick up very quickly and to be on the lookout for what comes next. So right after that, this is what came is um, dealing with your money. So this is going to be Wooing Nature's new wealth line. Um, finance line money line if you're dealing with money issues or you're trying to get your money right this is the place to go so what we're doing is we're balancing your material and your spiritual so that you will know whence cometh your wealth and your health okay because some of us um, indigenous folks we have been trying to get money in a certain kind of way and it hasn't been working for us because that's not your way it's not your way nor do you want that kind of money you don't want every kind of money you don't want all money. You might think you want all money, but you don't want all kinds of money. So if you are trying to make sure that you are spiritually and materially in balance, then, in, in balance, then this is the place for you. So I am going to be reading a course from the I Ching. Um, it is associated with coins. It's associated with money. So why not go to them to find out about the finances? And then I'm going to be following up with each sign in this um, in this particular element. So we're dealing with air signs now. We're going to deal with each sign in the element. And then we're going to use the tarot to break down each sign in the element. All right. So this is for air signs. Air signs are your... Uh, mm, just lost my train of thought Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius so if you're Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius then this message is for you and so again I'm going to give an overall reading from the I Ching um, from the I Ching passages about air signs and what air signs need to be focused on and then we're going to break down each one alright all right, so the image or the um, card that came up for you air signs is number 48 the well I think that's such a powerful image there and it's also um, symbolically very powerful because the well is a never ending it is a depth to it and the depth is where the riches come from or from where the water comes from water is definitely associated with wealth because without water we don't survive it is the essence of it so this image of the well came up first and then your changing line or your changing card has this guy building so it's understanding your wealth and also understanding where you're going to build from there so it's a really really interesting passage that came up for you all and um, i'm going to read from the passage for those of you who are not familiar with the I Ching, you know you have your you have your you draw your hexagram or you um, do sticks or you do coins and you build a hexagram and then from that hexagram there is a passage so it is the type of divination tool where you have to go to the text because the text is where the um, where the message is the message is in the text so as I'm reading this to you the things that jump out for you they're going to be things that are jumping out for me and I'm going to be making emphasis on those points but also I want you to listen for yourself because when you're listening for yourself, things are going to come to you or things are going to resonate with you about it, air signs. Okay, so this is the general message for November for air signs and whatever is going on with their money or whatever is going on with your money. The well symbolizes a deep and inexhaustible fullness of being from which every person creates meaning in life so if we're talking about your wealth and we're talking about trying to get to where your wealth lives air signs then you've got to create meaning so the things that you're creating to create your wealth have to also create meaning in your life and then meaning in other people's lives as well it represents the fundamental and unchanging needs of humanity. So you're looking at humanity and what humanity needs. What is it that's consistent and unchanging? You know what I'm saying? People say wherever you go, people got to eat. You got to drink water, right? Some people say you need toilet paper. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I'm not getting into that. All right, we need to find the source of our true nature in order to reach fulfillment. So finding your true nature is going to help you find fulfillment. And that's the well from which your wealth is going to come. 
To this end, we are led by intuitive understanding rather than reason. Now, that's going to be difficult for you, air signs, because y'all like to rely on your reasoning, not on your intuitive understanding. So you got to go to the intuitive and kind of step off of the reasoning like, well, this doesn't make sense because of this right here. Sometimes the way that you've got to go to get to your wealth isn't going to make any sense. But there it is. We understand the boundless variety of the human spirit by feeling. So they want you to get to the feeling place within you. Clarify your real desires, your yearnings and your needs. Push on ahead to the real and true values of life rather than sticking to the superficial norms safety nets doing things like you've always done them doing the things that people did before you because they said they worked never mind how you're feeling on the inside and the wellspring from which you're coming so you've got to look at your own well you got to look at your own inner sanctum you got to get in touch with uh, your own spirit and your own calling and your own vocation and the well from which you're going to draw your own water or your own wealth it's in in here not out here and not already done necessarily of course there's nothing new under the sun but we know this in your inner core lies the source of your strength and your clarity and then I'm going to read the changing lines. The only two changing lines you had were, change, were lines four and five. But before we go on, I just want you to see these two. So it's looking at that well, and that's you. That's where your resources, your inner resources come from. And from that, you begin to build. You begin to build what it is that you're envisioning or that you can envision for your life. And again, that's an intuitive process. That's a feeling process. It's less a thinking process and a reasoning process because your thinking and your reasoning has gotten you where you are right now. But in order for you to get to your true wealth, you're going to have to what balance that out a little bit and you're going to have to balance it with the emotional and the feeling part of yourself. So line five and line six were the changing lines i'm going to read those because that's going to give you a little little bit more to go with a little little bit more information line five says you possess all the talent needed to attain the insight and experience in order to advance so air signs you have it in your you have insight and your experiences so the knowledge you've gained over your years of living plus your experience and the and the knowledge from the experience is what's going to advance you you develop potential gifts into abilities by accepting the challenges that you meet so during the month of november you're going to come up against um or you not come up against you but there's going to be some challenges that you're going to have to face and um you're going to develop your gifts into some real solid abilities by taking on these challenges and letting those challenges um, strengthen you. In line six, it says, those who have found themselves are like an eternal well. So if you know yourself, then you know that you are an internal wealth of information, a, an eternal wealth of knowledge and a wealth of experience. And all of that is already there and it is usable. You can use that to get what it is that you're looking for and that you need their strength is inexhaustible for in themselves they possess the source a source of inner wealth that goes back here your inner wealth go inside not out so too is this source in you even if you have not yet discovered it so if you don't feel like this is you don't feel like you know what it is if you feel like you don't understand what your wealth really is then it's time to do some meditation it's time to do some prayer it's time to go in and just ask those questions and just follow what you're intuitively led toward because your intuition is going to lead you on this journey air signs it's going to lead you on your journey and there's some work to be done after you discover the wealth that is inside you there's still some wealth to be done or, or there's still some some other work to be done all right so now we're going to get down to each individual sign and i've already pulled three cards three each in cards one for gemini one for libra and one for aquarius and we're just going to break those down one at a time and i'll be reading from the I Ching on that and then we'll get to um the um the uh, detail cards the tarot cards all right so for gemini 
The card that we pulled for you is the 24, number 24. So this is the Gemini card. 24 corresponds to a turning point and a return. Turning point or return. So in other words, this is a pivotal time for you during the month of November because there's a balance that has to be kept when you're making a pivot. When you make a turn, there's a, a very finite pivot point or point of balance. So again, when we're talking about balancing the spiritual and the material, then this is really a sign of the balance that is required. Let me get my glasses back on. There we go. Now begins a hopeful time for renewal and growth. Nothing more stands in the way of a new start. You can leave outdated views and bad habits and feelings behind you and energetically shape your life. So this is about an energetic shaping of your financial future. It's going to be done energetically. And the way to do that energetically is to take all the excess off, right? Because energy has to be light. If you're carrying a bunch of old, outdated views, a bunch of old, outdated notions, if you're still operating off of an old view of yourself in relationship to your wealth, as you chip that away and as you get rid of all of that stuff, it's going to make your journey and make your your um, your weight a lot lighter and then you can go ahead and do what you need to do you can you have the energy you need to shape the life that you're getting ready to live your financial um, your financial life moving forward get together with kind people get together with kind people now that's something that's really that's really key because most of the time when people are out here getting this money they are in there with people who are cutthroat, who will stab you in the back and everything else. But this phase of this time is asking for you to make a different step. Get with kind people and you will achieve more than would be possible if each of you were to act alone. So in other words, get together with the other people who are kind hearted people who maybe have a similar vision as you are that you have. And then you can um, really make things happen and it won't be about cutthroat and competition. It'll be about bridging some real positive, real good talents together in order to make something go, which is what people so they really, really, they don't, they don't think about that. But that's because they haven't been trained to think about that. That goes back to outdated views and bad habits. So in business, in the world of money, we've been accustomed to being cutthroat and, and, and competitive. And I'm not saying competition isn't out there. Yes, it is. But when you get all wrapped up in that and then you, you become a cold-hearted individual, was it worth it? Can't be. All right. The best is when progress is made with people you love and who love you. And when this progress brings benefit to others as well as to yourself. So this might be a family function. It might be a family endeavor. It could be something that you're going to do with other people that you have a fondness for. So look for that in terms of being able to bring in the finances as well for you. There is no need to force anything. The improvement in your situation corresponds to a natural flow of events. So just let it flow, Gemini. Don't even try to do a whole lot to it. Just let the things materialize as the way, it, the way that they need to. The best things always happen by themselves. Know that the changes have just begun. The new influence must grow undisturbed before it can prove its worth. So it's got to have some germination time. November would be the time for you to kind of pay attention to where your inclinations are, where your natural inclinations lead you. And, um, and also, again, get with kind people. Get with people who you love and who love you as well. And start building on this idea, on, on this concept. All right, and pull in at your um, tarot. I see a lot of things have been on your mind. A lot of things been stressing you out. Money situation stressing you out. Trying to figure out how to do it. Racking your brain. Staying up at night. Working really, really hard. And I'm not mad about that because all of that goes into the effort. But ultimately, it's about this. 
ultimately Gemini it's about knowing the will that is within you so but the work isn't bad the work you know going through this isn't a bad thing it's just like something you had to do to get to this point then you're going to have to let that go we got the king of swords Gemini here for you this is your natural state of being you're you feel comfortable being in the realm of the mind which is where the swords is you're the king of that castle you're the king of that of that you got the king you, you're the king of the castle you got the throne and you got the moat and people got to try to get to the drawbridge and they don't have a horse so you kind of out there alone by yourself so you got to drop a little of this remember in the other reading it talked about not dealing with reason this is your reason space and this is where you're most comfortable Gemini you know it, it's natural to you so it's going to seem a little bit counterintuitive for you to go into a feeling space but you're going to have to go into a feeling space to really tap that 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 well to tap that water source water is emotions so you got to tap the water source yours is going to come from water and water like things all right so two of pentacles here is about balance again balancing out the material and the spiritual being able to make that connection between the spiritual and the material and your spiritual lesson is about feeling it's about being with kind people it's about getting with the people that you love the people that love you back and building something from that because that's really going to um, touch that place in your heart that is going to bring forth the abundance that you're going to then build from all right Gemini so that's your message. All right, we're moving right along to Libra. Libra is number 63. Number 63. This is message for Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. All right, so this card represents after fulfillment. And I think this is really interesting because whenever I see this, it looks like fireworks. It reminds me of fireworks for whatever reason. So, you know, like after you have the fireworks and 4th of July is over, this is after that is happening. Okay. So there's been some level of gain for you Libras. There's already been the gain, like you've already probably reached some level of fulfillment at the point when November comes in, or either you may have gotten news of such fulfillment. But this message is saying, okay, this is this is where you are now. So you reach this level. Now what? Okay. The genesis of the cosmos precedes chaos. And so too does the new order follow every state of confusion in the people's lives. When this new order is achieved, we like to sit back and relax, but be aware or beware. This is precisely the point where you need to be careful and observant for the achievement has not yet been stabilized. So in other words, you can reach a certain level of height or pinnacle or you can think that you've reached a certain level, but you're not really at that level yet because there's yet another level to reach. And this other level is when you find the wealth within. So um, the wealth within, the wealth without, you may have already experienced. You may be already experiencing um, the manifestation before you actually see the true wealth in it. And that's different because a lot of times we are without, and so we're without because we haven't seen what's within. But in your situation, you've seen the without, but the within you haven't gotten to yet. And that's the real, real after fulfillment that's what's coming after that um, furthermore the law dictates that decline begins after every peak beware of the illusion that some ideal condition is everlasting everything that everything that rises must fall every there's peaks and valleys peaks and valleys in this money game there's peaks and valleys in all the game there's ebb and flow in life there's yin and yang with everything nothing is constant Libra but what we know is that which rises must fall, that which falls must rise again, and that's a part of that cyclical nature of life. Remain alert, nothing is, uh, remain alert, open to new challenges. Remember we were talking about the challenges before, and be certain of one thing, your road will take many a turn, lead you over numerous mountains and valleys. So that's the journey. Okay, the journey up is the journey down. The journey down is the journey up. It's all a part of this one long fluid 
movement or cycle of life and death and life and death in our lives in general. All right, so Libras, I've got the Queen of Pentacles and I have the Lovers. And this Queen of Pentacles card, I see her connected to her wealth. I see this woman, she sits out in the desert. She's connected to her wealth and she's got this ram here which says that some things have been initiated or being initiated, but you may feel alone in that effort. You may feel like, I don't know, you know, I need some connection. The lovers here is about partnership. So it's about partnering. It's like not going alone on the journey because you have everything, but then you don't have the person to share it with. You don't have the love to share it with. So you want to be able to share that. The Five of Wands represents some kind of conflict. It's an inner conflict most of the time that then begets the outer conflict. So if you're having conflict in relationship to your money or if you are acquiring wealth or if the material things are coming and it's causing some kind of strife or it may be causing strife with your partnership or the person that you're working with it could be um, it could be your romantic partner but it also could be your business partner as well because sometimes when we're reaching levels of success Libra it starts to create problems in our own emotional life and again we're talking about this balance between the material and the spiritual you also have to look at where the emotion sits with that because that's what you've been admonished to do from the I Ching is to, to remember the em emotional part, not so much the reasoning part of it. So if there is strife and there is difficulty that you're experiencing, know that that's a part of that ebb and flow. That's a part of the peaks and the valleys. So if you're experiencing a really great experience and then you have a real low point, they go together. They go together and you're learning from both of them. You're really learning from both of them. All right, so moving right along, we're going to Aquarius. Aquarius, your passage is number 35. I think that's really interesting. Looks like a little support system there going on. 35 Aquarius. 35 Aquarius. It's about progress. The sign, this sign promises good and easy progress in relation to worldly and spiritual matters. So it seems like out of the air signs, you all are probably the most balanced um, in, in relationship to your money and your spiritual thing. It sounds like a good, good balance there. Your reliability and loyalty are valued professionally and in partnership. So if any of you all are thinking about partnering with other people or consulting with other people, or if you even if it's with your job, your current job, or maybe you're changing jobs, doesn't matter. The point is, is that your reliability and your loyalty is really what's getting you the bump up. It's really what's what's setting you apart and it's what's allowing that money to come through so if you're already in that position where you've been with the company for a while they really appreciate your work nothing's broke don't fix it you know what I'm saying leave things like they are but then appreciate what you're really bringing to the table and what they're really paying attention to you're trusted when it comes to deciding important questions by evaluating each situation situation impartially and altruistically that's with love then you reach your inspired solution so that's how you're coming up with these you know like when problems are happening in the workspace and people are trying to figure things out and they can't make decisions and then you come with that decision and they're like wow Aquarius that's such a great idea it really is coming from a balance between you being able to look at the situ situation impartially and look at it from the heart space that's really beautiful Aquarius with so much selflessness it's sometimes not easy to consider your own interests as well but quite miraculously you always get what you're entitled to that's because you're coming from love and that's when when you you know using your intuition that's what we're talking about when we're talking about using your intuitive and your emotional side more so than your reasoning side and then that creates the balance in the situation and then that brings in the money so Aquarius as I'm gonna say as far as the air signs are concerned you all are kind of the example in the month of November your secret is that you always feel and act in harmony with the innermost part of nature and the human spirit. You yourself are part of the energy vibration which serves the perfection of all forms, the lowest to the highest. So you're not, you're not, you know, trying to judge anybody or anything for what they're doing. And that's that love space we're talking about. 
Become aware of your role and fulfill it to the best of your ability. So that's some really, really good stuff for you, um, Aquarius. I've got the Ten of Swords for you in reverse, which means some difficulty, some things that's been really on your mind and that you've been trying to tackle here with this Nine of Wands. You've been trying to really organize your situation. It's been tough. It's been difficult, but you've gotten yourself together. That's behind you, and now it's time for you to get creative again. So um, whatever you may have been going through over the past month or so, or it could have been longer than that, just know that November is heralding in uh, a different time for you, a time where you can really start becoming more creative again because you've done that other kind of work. You've done that other stuff. And you've also garnered some respect in your field. So you ended up with double blessings. Like they said, you always end up with whatever it is you were going to end up with anyway. Just by giving that heart. Just by being in tune with people. And Aquarius says you all are really great at that. All right. So... Don't forget to tune in every month for this, you know, because this is about getting it in balance. Um, we've been trying to figure out how to get money. People have been having all kinds of issues with their money, can't get it right. You know, sometimes you're struggling trying to, you know, make your ends meet or you feel like you're almost there with the situation and you're just missing it. That's because it's slightly out of balance so what this is all about is getting you back into balance getting you back into balance with yourself getting your your finances and your spirituality in sync and being able to see that from a different perspective because your wealth really comes from inside of you and being able to see inside of you to that place where that well that your wealth is coming from is is really really vitally important all right, so if you need to take a deeper dive, you know where to find me. I'm at Carrie, K E R R I, at wooingnature.life. If you want to get a reading specifically for your financial situation, I can definitely do that to do that with you. And we can even go a little deeper into your karmic debt because if your karmic, when you're talking about your karmic debt, it can sometimes reflect in your own debt. So hit me up and let me know so you can get this money. All right, you all enjoy your day and have a fabulous life.